I'm curious, where were you on January 6th of 2021? <laughs> I was not anywhere near Washington, D.C. Are you sure? Mike, are you familiar with Trumpster Bob at all? No, but I'm intrigued by the name alone. Yes, okay. I like he lives name. up to the name. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll play. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's... He Be lives in before you put him on, yeah. Mike. Before you put him on, Mike, picture a Trumpster Bob in your head, and then we'll see how well it matches. Okay, I okay. think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And, and, and trigger warning, trigger warning. He does. He like he uses a lot of words. Oh, he'll that, say stuff. Yeah, he'll say stuff. <laughs> No you, filter. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. He'll say the things that racist people say. We're all thinking. He'll say Damn. the thing. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. Well, he uses the he is uses he a the YouTuber? F. He uses the, yeah, yes, he is. He uses the F okay. word a lot, like. Uh, yeah, but right. I don't think he does in this. In oh my god, that is exactly yeah. what I was picturing. What the fuck? Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Mexicans up here talk all that shit. He lives near. He lives in South Texas, near the border of Mexico, and he's about to claim. That a lot of the Mexicans in his area are actually secret Muslims that snuck over the border and they're posing as legal Mexican Americans so that they can rig the elections where he lives. That sounds legit. As Muslims. Yes. This Le is like that's a the birds important aren't part. real levels conspiracy theory. Have you all yeah, heard of birds it, aren't real? Oh, yes. I haven't heard of birds okay, aren't real. Yes. I have heard of Australia's not real. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that birds are all like drones, basically. They're spy devices, oh, awesome. yeah, replaced by the government. Yeah. yeah. I like that. But when, like that. when I go to a restaurant and I'm ordering like a lot of jalapenos with my dish and I'm eating them oh jalapenos, they just look at me like that. That's how you know you got a fake fucking Mexican. Yeah. When, when you're eating jalapenos <laughs> in a Mexican restaurant and there's uh, a Mexican person sitting there looking at you and they look afraid, they're actually not real Mexicans. I, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the logic of like, Yeah. First of all, as somebody with the weird voice, I have to point out his voice is very funny. Yes. I mean, I feel like... Oh, it's great. It's, it's great. like a cartoon it, character voice. Yeah. I like how it's double racist because it's like, okay, he's calling the Mexicans all like secret Muslims, but also assuming the only way they could be real Mexicans is if they liked jalapenos. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yep. <laughs> Usually it's a Muslim pretending to be a Mexican. Because Muslims are scared to death of jalapenos. They hate, they can't stand hot food. They're pussies. <laughs> <laughs> you get a real Mexican, he can eat jalapenos like one, two, three, four, five, drinking water with it. Just water. I, I can eat jalapenos like that. I can eat 20 of them like that. Easy. And Doesn't even... that make you a Mexican? Yeah. By your own logic? <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> it actually makes him not Muslim. He actually, uh, he, he. I guess he, that's the important part is not Muslim. He gets drunk and calls places and and does dumb shit. And one time he called nine one one and freaked out on a. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. And by calls places, Ben means like the FBI and shit. Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And like uh, he okay, called Ted I Cruz. Leave, you have to give me his uh, his channel info. Uh, I have to. Trump's your bomb. Yeah. This. We, we've had the Trump, pleasure of Trump's... speaking with Trumpster Bob. <laughs> he's actually a big fan occasions. of the show, too. He is That's now. That's my favorite thing. What? He he's is, like, he's he like is... you gotta say, you guys' podcast, it's a 10 <laughs> out of 10. No, no, 9 out of 10. To, 9 out of 10, because I expect y'all to do even better in the future. <laughs> but but if you talked to him a year ago, he'd, he'd say we were uh, gay communists from California. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we're like, we're not, we're not gay, we're not from California. <laughs> And, and uh, I'm not a communist. communist. Yeah. I'm a capitalist. Yes. I'm, I'm besties with Martin Shkreli. Thing, I, I love how he now like simps for Eliza Georgiana. Like it's so fucking great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Any woman on the internet who gives him attention. Uh, sorry. Oh. Any woman, real or fake, yes. on the internet that gives him attention. I was just going to bring that up. Falls head over heels in love with. He it's he's amazing. getting oh, catfished no. by people in Africa claiming to be women in yeah. Africa interested in dating. Him. He had a Nigerian girlfriend for a while, and he has a he has a hundred percent plans to move to Sierra Leone and build a, a an economy there. <laughs> There's a video <laughs> of him. <laughs> Cussing out a Western <laughs> Union uh, phone representative 
because they they wouldn't allow him to send money to Nigeria. They're like, no, sir, sorry, like, we, sir. This you're is you're being scammed. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> you liar! You don't you you're don't say that about my woman. Yeah, I'm yeah. in love. <laughs> She needs this three hundred and fifty dollars right now, and you better well send it, like, sir. We literally can't. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love your podcast because every time I come on, I discover some new crazy person, yeah. and it's just fascinating. Yeah, that's great. He is very fascinating, uh, and it's weird because sometimes he'll be the 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 meanest, most cruel person uh, ever when we talk to him, and then there's other times where he's like the nicest guy ever. He's just uh, it's basically what kind of drunk he is at the time. Right. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah, there's also the Trumpster Bob butthole challenge, which is like, oh, oh yes, of course. I, oh, lest no. we forget. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's no. that's the meat and potatoes he of his tells, entire existence. He accuses. <laughs> he says every he, he calls everyone else gay, but he wants to get on video and compare buttholes <laughs> with us. To, to prove he's but like for a re okay ben you're throwing him under the bus yeah, there's logic yeah. and reason behind scott it. logic us up mike as you know what's that <laughs> logic us up scott logic us up as you know every gay person has an absolutely wrecked destroyed <laughs> prolapse blown out butthole just at like a yeah. disaster yeah. right everyone knows that so in order to prove to Bob that you aren't gay and thus a good person, you have to take a photo or video of your butthole to show him it is not the aforementioned mess and that you're straight. Yep. And then I don't actually, I actually don't know what the end game is. And then you get to be friends with Bob or, yeah. or you win the butthole challenge. And yeah, he a nice you, non gay butthole there, some boy. Turtle wax? I don't know. No, I, I think Your if you win. don't look wrecked. I like you. Yeah. If you win yeah. Trumpster Bob's butthole challenge, a Keystone uh, digitally prints out of his butthole and you get to crack it and drink it. Keystone Light. Yeah, Keystone Light. Yeah, so that's Trumpster Bob. Um,. A great man. Really fascinating. He is fascinating. How many? Okay, I'm afraid to ask. How many subscribers and like followers does he have? Not too many. Uh, He's not huge. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's and good. it's mostly hate viewing. He's but, niche. You know. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but he he does kind of he has his his people that like him. I guess right. I like him, but I mm. I'm a He's charming. I'm a horrible He's judge charming. of character. I, I feel once, like him and Jesse Lee Peterson should be friends. Oh, oh my wow. Gosh. They're the same age. They have the they same might views. Hit it off. You know what, though? Hit it off for like, sure, yeah. Every time maybe I think... Maybe they could date. I've, I don't know. <laughs> every time Trumpster Bob... I, every time I think Trumpster Bob's going to like someone, he ends up attacking them. Yeah. Like Trump's That's true. Uh, Wild like, oh, Bill for America. Bob will like this guy, and then, yeah, then no, he gets mad Jesse at him. Jesse Lee Peterson would probably say something bad about Trumpster Bob's Nigerian girlfriend, and that would be the thing that sets it off. That's true. Could be That's true. Thing. We got him so mad one time because we pointed out how one of his flags was backwards. I'm right back. And he got so <laughs> mad about it. Oh my god! Here he goes. Here because he goes. He, and and what's, he, it's, what's interesting? If you, pause for a sec, because um, like he insisted. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first fall. He insisted that none of the flags were backwards. We're like Bob on our right of the screen. The big flag and the flag closest to it are facing opposite directions. So one of them is backwards, pal. And he like, he, like he wouldn't believe it. <laughs> like he, he denied reality. It's like turn around, it's right there. <laughs> I'm like, look to your left. You can see it. Turn around, white guy. He did nice. He wouldn't do it. All right. I just love when he's okay. walking through the room. Oh, it's just a sea six, of cans on the ground. It's just so insane. Yeah, the, I love the, oh, I the noise that, yeah. of the cans collapsing and yeah. then you see him falling. This is quality content. <laughs> I'd love to see his floor. I wish we could see his floor. Oh, God. Just like, a blanket of keystones. Yeah, those they're not like little ones. They're like the tall, the tall cans. Yeah, tall oh, yeah. boys. They'll go through like 12 hmm. of them in a stream. Damn. Yeah, it's impressive, actually. Yeah, he does. He's going to fall again in a second here. Oh my god. Yeah. He comes back and falls again. He had to get up to use the Oh, there he Oh, uh. <laughs> what? there he goes. What the hell? He's just gliding through hey, the Bobby. air. Fuck him. What the fuck happened?
Bob, we're here live with Mike from the Humanist Report. We got Scott, Hi, and Bob. today is Magicus's birthday. Yeah. Well, happy birthday. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I'm doing fantastic. Good. That's good to hear. Yeah, Look. Bob, I'm very, very morbidly curious about the butthole thing. So apparently you can tell if somebody is gay just by looking at their butthole. Now, the question I have is looking at another man's butthole technically is gay itself, but is there an exception just to determine the status of homosexuality? I no, do want more just, details about no, this. You just, no, you just threw a misnomer in there, so let me correct you. Looking oh. at a man's butthole okay. is not gay. Otherwise, every doctor that's ever seen a guy's butthole is gay, and that's just not true. Okay. Oh, check in, mate. Okay, Mike. okay. You that, should apologize. That... <laughs> yeah, Mike, um, you never heard of a it. proctologist, Mike? Mike, Mike, Mike you fucking homophobe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> more, more times than not, people who Piece are of not shit, gay, Mike. <laughs> More, more times than are, than are not, the, the non-gay people will talk about a man's butthole more than a gay man. Oh, that's interesting. interesting. No way. No way. Inter that, I, I will say this. I do talk a lot about buttholes. If Donald Trump doesn't run in 2024, who are you going to support next up? Because for me, I'm really eyeing Dami Mommy Marjorie. Well, I, I think that she could be the next. If, if Trump don't run, I might run. Okay. Oh, oh okay. that's a game changer. This is an announcement. This is yeah. an exclusive announcement. <laughs> this is exclusive. As, as I have liberals. That do have a lot of money. In fact, last night, I was getting stoned with a billionaire and the guy that runs this place, just us three, spent the full day A billionaire. Out Did you take the butthole Most challenge? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to ask you to. Well, I would, but I mean, sure. you, know, I don't think you don't have to tell us so, who, but how many people have taken the butthole challenge and shown you the picture? How many billionaires have taken the butthole challenge? Just, just an how estimate. How many of you people have ever sat down and got stoned with a billionaire you just got through meeting? Tumpster Bob, I'm curious. Where were you on January 6th of 2021? <laughs> <laughs> I was not anywhere near Washington, D.C. Are you sure? Are you sure? Were you anywhere near Washington, D.C.? He you says really Washington. Near Washington. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, technically, I didn't say Washington. I said Washington. I, I didn't sure? say Washington. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? It's a clever cover up of the truth. Yeah. Bob, I know you don't like Ted Cruz, right? He's not even American. He's Canadian, right? Nah, I like Ted Cruz. He's cool. What? You like Ted Cruz? You know, he Bob, wasn't even Trump, born in America. Trump said Cruz was bad. Trump made fun of Cruz. He said he had an ugly wife. And My he man. was born Cruz, in Canada. Cruz was a total cuck about and, it. And, said Trump and, cool. and his dad was born in communist Cuba. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked. He's, you know, he's also the Zodiac Cuba. killer. His mom was born. He's, he's Canadian. Bob. You want a Canadian to be president of the United States of America? Wow. Bob, he I, ate I a booger on national Bob television. Is he, he's a booger eater. Down here in America. He has disowned Canada and he is an American. <laughs> and for one, the yeah. right the right's okay with freedom boogers. You have the right to pick. That's uh, true. The the right believes you have the freedom to pick. Hey, Nick Fuentes ate okay, a, bo a booger the too. That's true. Talking yeah. to Greg Abbott's wife, the next week Greg Abbott signed a multi-billion-dollar piece of paper, and right now they're putting the wall up. Literally, hey, they had to wait to see the fencing. There's no because, wall, uh, being Bob. Built right now. Will you, Bob? Will you harvest a gnarly freedom booger right now and eat it for us? What I ate a booger? How much are you paying me? Uh, what is the price? If somebody offered you to desecrate a flag on camera, would you do it and for a, a price? Because you said you'd be gay for pay. So would you desecrate a flag for like That's a thousand dollars on camera? Great question. How, how do I got to desecrate it? Burn you it have to light it on fire and step on it. Okay. Thousand dollars I'll do it. Okay. What? okay, okay. <laughs> what, would you go lower, right. like 500? 500? Uh, well, Freedom isn't free, easy. guys. Dude, I'd do it for a fucking beer. Like, that's, how about that's it. how about wipe your ass with it? How much for that? Wipe my ass. Uh, yeah, I will tell you what. Uh, when I was a teenager, I saw Marilyn Manson live, and he wiped his ass with the American flag. Pretty yeah, well, cool, and that was the worst thing he yeah. ever did. <laughs> no, I, I probably have to go with a thousand dollars because it might bucks? be mm. What yeah. if you just Probably. took like no, a poop the right number. before too? 
So, Bob, I'm curious. So in the event there were to be a baby eating contest between you and Hillary Clinton, and if you beat her, you'd get a million dollars. Do you think you actually would be up for the challenge? You have to eat at least two babies because she's fast. Ten minutes. A million bucks. If they were monkey babies, I'd win. No, human Not babies. monkey babies. Human ass babies. No monkey baby, Trump. No Bob would be too monkey busy crying. Baby. He loves he loves humans. Yeah, we're not gonna go there. I'm not gonna do that. Come yeah, Bob is something of a humanist, a oh, secular okay. I, humanist. See, I am, <laughs> I'm not a fan of humanists. I, mean, I, 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 know <laughs> I saw a report on that. He yeah. does not like well, reports on humanists. Bob, what is communism? Because I I have a feeling you don't mm. even know what communism means. Because, like, Canada... Communism is when a small class of people run a country. Or what? when you take it Not into a one person... Then that's, that's capitalism, a Bob. <laughs> that's, that's capitalism. really capitalism. capitalism like Walmart, under, uh, 60 years ago, Walmart, or definitely 70 years ago, Walmart would have been broken up because it's a monopoly. Right? No, it wasn't. There were other if stores. Properly, if properly maintained, capitalism is the... Greatest system on earth. That's what built this country and made it great. It's just never been properly maintained. <laughs> but it's a nice idea. How, how would you properly? Well, I mean, uh, also slavery built this country, and also uh, there was a long time where, you know, they were sending twelve-year-olds to go work in factories too. Well, Ben, so. maybe that's not been properly maintained either. Ideas, 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 ideas